Mike, I know this exhibition game is what it is, but uh, tonight when you at least shoot 67.5% and just getting in guys' heads about making shots, is there something to be gained from that? Well, again, I mean, we didn't shoot it well from the three-point line. I mean, we shot it well from twos. And, you know, we had all good looks, and we're going to keep shooting them. You know, eventually they'll go in. But, you know, what I like most about the game tonight, we, we, we defended, you know, and – we had 33 assists and 10 turnovers, so that's a positive. Daniel and Jim. Bryson had, I want to say, 19 or so. I, obviously, you've not been shy in how high you are on, on him. I'm just like, what has he shown you so far to where you can see the confidence in him, and what has he kind of proven to you so far? I'm high on everybody on this team, not just Bryson Tucker. Uh, he's a young freshman that has got a nice skill set. Uh, especially on both ends of the floor. Uh, he's long and athletic, and he handles the ball. He can score the ball. He can do a lot of things. Uh, but he's got to learn the college game, and he's young at it right now, and we just got to keep pushing him in the right direction. Coach, following up on that, and as well as uh, Ja'Kai Newton, both those guys getting minutes that they haven't got a lot of, but uh, both having decent nights tonight. What did you see in them and their youth and what they can add to this team going forward? Well, well Ja'Kai, I mean, this is the first time he's he's played, which, you know, I was just brought a, a smile to my face because this young man has been working and working and working to get back. And... Finally got a chance to get a few minutes, and I thought it was positive. I mean, you can tell he's rusty. He hadn't played. But, you know, he's a, he's a talented young man. You know, I've seen him in practice do things that I knew he could do when we recruited him, and we just got to continue to nurse him and, and you know, get him back 100% because he's not there yet. Gallo's the same way. You know, we, we monitored both, both of those guys' minutes tonight, and, uh, it's going to be that way until we, we, we think they're truly comfortable in playing big minutes. Mike Umarbala was able to get it going a little bit more tonight. Uh, what has impressed you the most about him since he's come in here? Well, I mean, Balo is, is proven. You know, I mean, what he did at Arizona, and um, he's a double-double guy. I mean, he's capable of getting you 10 points, 10 rebounds. I mean, that's – and. And he plugs the middle up. So I mean, there's, you know, there's a reason why we we went after him hard when he became uh, when he went into the portal. And um, you know, we just got to keep working with him, get him in tip top shape because he's not where I want him to be yet. And we're gonna keep pushing him until he gets there. But hey, it's he's heading in the right direction and doing some nice things for our ball club. Yeah, four assists tonight for Umar. Has it been a kind of a concerted effort to kind of unlock his passing? For who? For Umar. No, I mean he can pass the ball. He's a he's a big man that's been proven that he he can pass the ball. I mean he he hits cutters. He, you know he plays good buddy ball like we call. Uh, he and Malik are learning each other more and more that they've been together. Um, um, and he's unselfish. I mean, it's not just about him thinking he he needs to to demand the basketball. I mean, he's a good team player that does a lot of good things for your ball team. Coach, you mentioned the buddy ball and you mentioned Malik and Umar. What allows them to coexist on the floor like we saw tonight? Well, again, I mean, they both can pass the ball. They both can score down low. They both can handle the basketball. So that's, that's a nice combination. Uh, and, you know, we're going to need them to continue to grow together, man, if we're going to be a, a big-time team. Coach, the, the depth you showed, um, I think 10 players scored at least two points. Can you talk about that and, and how that can help leading forward, moving forward? Well, again, I mean, this is the deepest team that we've had since I've been here. And uh, knowing that we got a lot of work uh, in terms of what I'm looking for, um, in a team and uh, you know we, we're not shooting the ball well right now from the three-point line and that's kind of disturbing but you know I'm not going to harp on it because again we are getting them up and coming into the Tennessee game in this game we have been shooting the three ball really well so you know we just got to keep working at it and 
and get guys comfortable and uh, and see where it leads us. Mike, uh, Kane and, uh, and Anthony didn't play tonight. I know we saw Anthony's kind of knee thing on Sunday, but what was up with Kane today? Well, he's got some bruised ribs. You know, he took a shot in the Tennessee game, and uh, so we just kind of nursing him back and uh, and taking it a day at a time. I mean, eventually he'll be back on the floor. Uh, just having uh, Pat Knight and Steve Downing back tonight and all the support there, just what did that uh, mean to you? Not only having Steve back, we had Nancy Knight back, and I hadn't seen Miss Knight in 40 years. And boy, it was, it was really nice seeing her. Steve and I have stayed in contact for many, many years, and we talk off and on, so it was great having him back. And it was nice having Pat back here, you know, in, in, in Assembly Hall. Um, you know, it's, it's been a while. You know, Pat is special to this program because of his dad, and he's gone through it. And to get his mom back here, boy, it was kind of special tonight, I think.